Hello, welcome to Creative Crafting by Katie. I have a Dollar Tree surface board and these are some Klingons. I believe that they are from Walmart. I just had them in my stash and I'm going to use a couple different ones here on this surface board. And I'm going to just start off by painting the surface board white and then we will embellish it up. Just make sure you get the edges. You could also do this maybe in a little antique color and or we'll antique it down. You could do maybe like a cream colored as well, but um, this will work out pretty good, I think. Okay, now we're just gonna take the window cling and we will Mod Podge it down on here. But first of all, I'm just going to dry lay it out and see where I would like everything and where I want it all to go. And cut off any extra that we have afterwards. Um, so we will, again, Mod Podge this down. I will go over the entire surface because I want to have the same sheen on here all the way around. And this will act like a glue for it. Here and pull it down a little bit because I do want to have. It's kind of nice about this is you'll be able to slide it around with the cling. It won't be stuck in place just yet. And then I'm gonna dry it up. I'm going to take a little bit of Mod Podge and I'm, I'm going to go over the, the surface, the top of it, and seal it on there a little bit better. It's going to take a little bit more time to dry than it would with a piece of paper or a napkin. And at this time, if you wanted to add any diamond dust to it, you could or anything like that, and we'll just dry it up again. All right, now I've got some antique Waverly wax that I've got on a baby wipe here and I'm going to just come in here and add this on to distress it and, and make it look a little bit more vintage. And I'm going to grab the edges as well. It doesn't take a lot. I'm gonna come back with the clean part and I'm gonna pull a little bit more of that away. Okay, then I will come back in with this again and I will do my edge. Just to highlight this area here. You can also use the little Tim Holtz things but because I've already got my wax going here, I'm just gonna use this to kinda highlight it. You could also come in here with a little bit of a, a paintbrush if you want it more defined, a, like a thicker line there, darker line, like this. We'll do this all the way around. Okay, now I have made a little two finger bow here and I'm going to adhere it on the back side of this with some hot glue. And this is gonna act as my hanger as well. So I won't need this entire area here. I will cut it down like that. And I'm just gonna put a bunch of hot glue here. I'm gonna secure it on. And then I'm going to use this ribbon to also secure it back here like this. bit of extra um, to hold it there. Now we want to make sure that I got it all the way up to the top though because you don't want it to pull away. Okay and then we're just going to finish it off with a little bit of greens right here. Some berries 
the pine cone. Just like this. Very simple, cute, and easy. So look at those window clings that you can find around at the stores, ladies, and that you have yourself a cute little hanger. Hope you enjoyed this. If you did, make sure that you come back. Bye now.